morning world welcome to 7th of september 2021 early start today before it gets hot because it's gonna get hot Still plenty of dew on the grass. That won't last long. Part of me is definitely wishing that I finished this last night now because this is a lot harder with the sun in my eyes. I'm having trouble seeing the bottom of the trench because the sun is, as it's going now, is now lining up with the trench and the bottom is shiny. So, um, yeah, this isn't working out quite to plan. I think the bottom of my trench might go a bit. Well, I've broken into the ditch, but it appeared to be four, four inches deep. Um, not the end of the world, because I haven't cleaned this ditch out for oh, five, six years. So hopefully I can get this pipe in there, get it in there. And if I just clean out the ditch um, down 25 meters or so, shouldn't be a problem with flow. Touch wood. Speaking of wood, you can go in there. Just for a minute. five inches. Um, I would have preferred the pipe to come out 
above the waterline in the ditch, but I knew that ditch wasn't very deep. And the problem is, I need this deep enough that if ever I want to run a mole plow down through here, I'm not going to pick up the pipe, so it is what it is. I'm kind of open that I got enough fall and enough speed of water coming down here that it's going to kind of keep that pipe flushed out anyway. Right, nine o'clock, toast time. <laughs> How pissed off is he going to be? He must have the other two. Hey, you have, you have them. No, no, I've had mine. Yeah, you, you have them. Well, well, there's no point in them going to waste, is there? <laughs> no, we wouldn't want Dave to think his toes had gone to waste. No, he's not going to be very happy, is he? Um, so what's he got on the builder, has he? Mm. Get some toast. Uh, get some toast. Get some timber. Get some timber for his uh, dormer. Well, he, he, knew, he knew it would have been around right now, surely. Because yeah. it's Tuesday. He I'm going to visit. brought him out a cup of uh, coffee. Yeah, he's had coffee. Yeah, she said he had coffee. No, he wasn't here. Oh, would he? Gone there. Gone the window. <laughs> She's already gone, but oh. she's already made it. Oh, yeah. oh dear. Right, okay. I've got an um, envelope for the plans as well. Yeah, right. I knew we had a spare one, so... Oh. Broke that bit then? Broke a bit, yeah. Okay. Maybe shattered. Well, they get a bit of work, don't they, so... Mm. Yeah. Oh, so he's going to have cold coffee and no toast. <laughs> you could leave him half a slice with a mouthful out of it or something, could you? You could bite him <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> All right, OK. <sighs> well, if he wasn't grumpy when he got here, he did say he was going to get grumpy when he got off. He will be. He'd there. be grumpy now, yeah. Oh, there's a piece of cake left, I'll give him that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's another load ready to go. We'll just add that as well. to make it a bit shorter.
dropped him in. This in there, right. And the final bit. Okay. Can I lift him up a bit? I could, a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So we got a reasonable fall pretty much all the way down here where the bubble is kind of about there on the spirit level that's pretty much all the way down this last bit of pipe because I've had to lift it up a little bit it's still falling downhill but we're not far away from from level there and then this last, last bit of pipe I picked him up so he's not in the very bottom of the ditch and again crap out from there we're almost level I think he wants to go there just a little bit more only half inch right I'll do that Okay, that'll do. So, it's only a little bit of fall at the end, but I've got the pipe about, I don't know, four or five inches above the bottom of the ditch, which is where I want it. That, as they say, will do. Right, stone that bit, start back. I'm not gonna stone this last piece. This is gonna be all, all dirt and everything, so. I don't want planings this close to the water horse. I know some of it's gonna end up going down that pipe, some of the essence of it. So I know it's probably a little bit naughty, but it's all I've got. And with what we're spending on everything else, it's all I can afford. So I'm just being realistic. So, and hopefully I'm not gonna get told off too much. Okay, right. Onwards and upwards. Sir, it's 20 past six. Um, I didn't do much more video of today's sneaking out because you had enough of that yesterday, really, or the day before. So, um, yeah, so now we've got to fill in the last bit of this trench, spend a bit of time rolling up and down it. Um, I'll leave a little bit of hump in there because it's going to settle over the winter months for sure. And then pipe is done. So, any water this pipe is going to pick up from up there. Um, once the roof's connected, it's done, it's, it's, it's in. Um, progress has been slow because the ground has been hard. I mean, the clay on digging up two foot down 
there is moisture in it. You can roll it into a ball, but it crumbles. So it's um, yeah, this is definitely going to settle down over the next twelve months, two years. Um, there's a reasonable chance I'm going to have to top this up a little bit. So I think what we're going to do, we will. Um, I've got a big hole on the golf course down there. There used to be a, a bunker. I've ummed and ahed about filling it in for a while. When we toyed with keeping the golf course open, I wondered about keeping it, but I actually think I'm going to put all this in there. It's nice and easy to get to. Um, the cattle will have hours of fun playing with it and levelling it and whatever else. Um, and then when they come out here, they will probably do their very best to dig up the pipe again. Because that's what cattle do. Oh. Just somebody wanting to come and get some wood chip tomorrow morning. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, fill this hole in. Looks like I've got giant moles now. So basically all I've done is I've filled the trenches up, run up and down them a dozen times with a skid steer, quickly scuffed the top off. Um, I've put that into one, two, three, four, five, six big molehills. Um, um, I think probably what I'm gonna do is I'll pick the best of the molehills, the one with the sort of the finest turf in it and leave it out here or just put a string up a um, little hump over um, the trench to allow it to settle the rest are going to go out in the golf course and fill that hole up out there um, I won't bother levelling it down for the time being I let the cattle do that and if I need any more I can then go back and fetch it and just top this up that will probably be next year I would imagine next year there's going to be a a uh, notable dip in here which is going to need filling so I'm kind of umming and ahhing whether to bother putting any grass in on here because one, it's very clay it's going to take some time for this ground to recover the grass will eventually creep across by itself um, but yeah pipes in uh, so it is terminated into the ditch as planned both pipes are 
That one's about five inches above the bottom of the ditch, and that one is well about the same actually, just a bigger pipe, so it looks higher. Um, I'm going to clean out some of this ditch further down, but that's not something I have to do tomorrow. Um, it's a job that he's doing. I think I did it a few year, five years ago. Kind of needs doing again, but it'll probably be easier to do that once I've been up and down here with the flail. So hedge trimmer first. Make sure I see this and don't run over it. So I'll probably just keep this a uh, bit. I'll come down with the loppers and just cut this out. That post there is knackered anyway. Put a new post in there. Um, yeah, and I think, I, I don't know, I might get a, a little flap to go on the end of that one to prevent beasties from going up and down there. Don't know if I can get a flap for the six inch, but if I can, maybe I'll get a flap for that one too. Just allows water out and nothing back in. There you go. Otherwise, we could have a rat run from the hedge to the shed. We don't want that. Okay, so we are done for tonight. I've had enough. It is half past seven, nearest damn it. Put a deuce in the way. I'm gonna have a shower, put my feet up, do some editing. See you tomorrow.